Hello, I'm a cyclist. Oh, I should really do that. And fresh air, one less car on the road. Good for you. Hello, I'm a motorcyclist. Oh, I'd never do that. My uncle's a paramedic, he scrapes you donor cycles off the pavement. <laughs> So here's my suicidal commute on a motorcycle. The top speed hit is 64, and I average 29 kilometers per hour. And here's my commute on an e-bike. The top speed hit is 60.5, and I average 28.3 kilometers per hour. Basically the same ride on the same roads and the same traffic. Only the e-bike never quite keeps up to traffic, so it gets whizzed more often than a public urinal. That and three other dangers. This is how I dress for motorcycling. My jeans are Kevlar lined to slide on surfaces more abrasive than an internet forum. My armor is CE rated to transmit less than 18 kilonewtons of blunt force. My jacket, gloves, and boots reflect the light of 1,000 suns. My helmet clears the latest brain and head injury criteria for rotational and translational impacts. Wow, this is how I gear up for e-biking. Stretchy pants, half a helmet, and happy thoughts. I'll be the first to admit that a suit of armor on an e-bike is as impractical as chainmail underwear. You gotta be able to move. But that doesn't change the fact that our safety standards are double standards. Especially considering current medical research, which notes that e-bike related trauma is dissimilar to pedal bike injuries, more closely resembling the patterns of motorcycle crashes. <laughs> When car drivers look both ways, they're looking for cars. Selective attention means it's common to look right through a motorcycle on the road, but even more common to miss a tiny bicycle beside the road. Oh, oh, oh! She didn't see us. Because they're looking for cars, they're not really yeah. looking for you, right? I've never been hit on my motorcycle, but I've been hit twice on my bicycle. Anecdotal evidence is only evidence of an anecdote, so let's look at real numbers, starting with the UK, since they have a culture of commuting on two wheels. 1,789 motorcyclists are killed or seriously injured per billion vehicle miles. The only other road user in that league is pedal cyclists, 1,036 per billion vehicle miles. But we know in America that e-bike accidents are 2.8 times more likely to require hospitalization than pedal bikes, and 3.3 times more likely to smoke a pedestrian. Cross-analyzing those data sets suggests that e-bikes are at least comparable to motorcycles in danger, if not worse. And I know, I know, crossing data is a faux pas. I'd love to cite a more direct comparison, but it doesn't exist. E-bikes are just too young. It's become a deadly plague. Electric bicycles on the streets of Israel ending up in so many accidents. 16 deaths already this year. 100%. ABS, traction control, DOT tires, tail light, headlight, high beams, fog lights, indicators, mirrors, weather warning instruments, and most importantly, See, all this requires a motorcycle license to operate, meaning I must complete several stages of mandatory training, often spanning two years. Bicycles can also be handled skillfully, but the only thing regulating the progress of your braking and balance is your own leg strength. The problem with e-bikes is that any geriatric or prepubescent pilot can hop on and hit 30 immediately, a speed they wouldn't be able to pedal to and often lack the sense for. 
Cyclists using their phones, crossing at red lights without helmets, in the dark with no lights, carrying passengers, making illegal turns and jumping in front of traffic. Now don't get me wrong, I know a bunch of asshole motorcyclists who spend their weekends at 200 kilometers an hour undoubtedly riskier. I also know electric cyclopaths hucking 20-foot kickers in the mountains, but there's no sense comparing the dangers of recreational use because that smells like an apple and orange imparfait. Commuting is the potent parallel. Because e-bike transit is soaring in popularity, because it's so analogous to motorcycle commuting in behavior, and as we now know, in danger. So what? E-bike licenses? Training? Mandatory gear? No. We have enough reputation as a no-fun generation as it is. I just want to say to anyone comfortable with the idea of commuting on an e-bike, you could consider a motorcycle. If not, at least you know the risks involved with your choice, so can stop pestering us about ours. Thanks for watching.